What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys a very exciting review. If you guys are new here, feel free to click that subscribe button and that bell notification icon for more reviews, reactions, rankings, and more movie content. It's finally here guys, thank goodness, the MCU movie we've all been waiting for this year, and the final MCU movie of the year. Today we are talking about Spider-Man No Way home before i get into this review guys a hundred percent this review is spoiler free if you have not seen this movie yet which i know a lot of you have not seen it yet do not put spoilers in the comments or you will be removed forever no spoilers in this review guys you are safe here with spider-man's identity now revealed at the end of spider-man far from home peter parker asks dr strange for help when a spell goes wrong, dangerous foes like Doc Ock, Green Goblin, Electro, Lizard, Sandman, from other worlds start to appear, forcing Peter to discover what it truly means to be Spider-Man. Oh my god, I cannot believe I'm finally talking about Spider-Man No Way Home. This was easily the biggest film from the MCU this whole entire year. I was very excited for this movie but also very nervous because with a very highly anticipated comic book movie like this, sometimes it can lead to disappointment. The last big event MCU films, I think, were Infinity War and Endgame. Like, those were easily the biggest, most hyped films, and those films, thank God, delivered. And with a film like Spider-Man No Way Home, I was incredibly nervous because of all the clips, the trailers, the supposed leaks that were going out there, which I 100% avoided. But I was also excited at the same time because I love Spider-Man. He's easily one of my favorite superheroes of all time. And what they've done with Spider-Man in the MCU mostly has been very good. The question is, is Spider-Man No Way Home a hit or a miss? It's a big time hit, guys. This is an MCU movie I'm definitely going to revisit a lot. And might I say, it's easily the best of the Spider-Man movies in the MCU, and possibly could be one of my favorite CBMs of all time, the more I rewatch it. Obviously, I'm not going to go in depth because, spoiler free, I there's so many things I want to talk about, but I can't. I'm going to be respectful, obviously. The best thing about this movie is Tom Holland. Now, there's been a lot of issues with his Peter Parker in Spider-Man, and understandable, because his Spider-Man, we really haven't yet seen his full potential of what he could be. A lot of people say he's Iron Man Jr. I've had that criticism with Homecoming, but in Far From Home, he's starting to become the Spider-Man, which I want to see. I can happily say he becomes Spider-Man in No Way Home. Tom Holland, this is his best performance as Peter Parker Spider-Man. And he becomes a boy and then becomes a man. Like, he is a man in this movie. He goes through a lot of stuff in this film. And the way he's able to give that great performance, as well as his action sequences in this film, which were very satisfying to watch. He was the best part of this movie for me is Tom Holland. His performance was fantastic. And of course, it's great to see Zendaya and Jacob Batalon as Ned and MJ. But I think Peter and MJ's relationship is just very great in here and very well explored. Zendaya really becomes her own as MJ as well as Jacob Batalon as Ned. All three of them as friends, I 100% buy it. And their friendship throughout all three of these movies really excels and is the forefront of what you can expect. Now, with the two trailers we've obviously watched, they're obviously bringing in a lot of stuff into this movie, like multiverse stuff. And of course, Doctor Strange in the trailers, I obviously expected Doctor Strange was going to play a role in here. Surprisingly, he's not in the movie much, but Benedict Cumberbatch is great as Doctor Strange. He brings, of course, his arrogance, but also his great comedy in here. The way I can describe it is this. The action starts pretty enjoyable, but then gets better and better and better as the movie keeps going. Like The action's off the charts. The way John Watts directs the action in this movie is insane. Well, there's some great marketable scenes in the trailers, like the bridge sequence and the final battle, of course. No spoilers. The way the action goes down in here, I think fans will be very appreciative of what goes down. Now, obviously not getting into spoilers here. They were in the trailers, but 
there are some past Spider-Man villains that do come out of this movie after a spell goes down and we get to see Doc Ock in the film and Alfred Molina is back. I love Alfred Molina as Doc Ock, one of my favorite villains of all time. The score to this movie is another thing I want to point out. The score in here is really great. Michael Giacchino has just done a great job with his Spider-Man scores. Adding in, of course, the classic Tom Holland Spider-Man score, as well as just a lot of cool original tracks in here. And it, he really puts his effort into the score in here. And I was just really impressed and also really emotionally invested in here. The score is very powerful. I would say it's definitely the best of the Spider-Man MCU scores. This movie, it, it's dark. Like, it goes there. Like, it's an emotional movie for sure. There's some really powerful scenes in the film as well as funny scenes, of course, of what you expect in an MCU movie. And a lot of fun sequences. I had a blast watching this movie. I had different emotions. I was having so much fun. And I was just shocked. And I was crying too. Like this movie has all the emotions possible. I would say the most flawed act would be the first act. Again, as I mentioned before, the movie gets progressively better and better. I would say the first act gets takes a little bit of time to get going. It's introducing a lot of things. It's throwing a lot of stuff at you from left, right, and center. Things you may have saw from Homecoming, but a lot of stuff you saw from Far From Home, it just throws it at you. But once you get about 30 to 40 minutes, you're completely hooked. I was completely hooked, at least for me. I could totally see some people being thrown off in the first act. Also, I mentioned this a little earlier. Maybe I wanted a little more from Doctor Strange. I was expecting him to have a big part in the film. Just a little bit more from him, just because Doctor Strange is a great presence in here. I really wish I could explain why I have issues with this, but I can't because it's a spoiler-free review. Jesus Christ, this movie is extremely difficult talking spoiler-free. Before I give you guys my final overall thoughts and grade for Spider-Man No Way Home, if this is your guys' first time on the channel and you like this review, definitely hit that like button. It helps the channel a lot. And consider clicking that subscribe button for weekly reviews and ranking videos. I will be ranking all the MCU movies with No Way Home, guys. So look forward to that ranking video. And I talk a lot about movies on here, guys. And there's so much content coming out, you're not going to want to miss it. Guys, I'm very happy as a Spider-Man fan. Spider-Man No Way Home lived up to all the hype possible. Believe the hype, guys. This movie delivers. It's fantastic. This honestly could be one of my favorite CBM movies of all time. I'm not joking. This movie's that good. Stay, of course, for those two end credit sequences because they're awesome. And Spider-Man No Way Home is one of the MCU's best. You guys knew it was coming. Spider-Man No Way Home definitely gets an A+. Plus. I mean what I say, guys. This movie is amazing. Go watch it. You're gonna watch it. That was my thoughts on Spider-Man No Way Home. Spoiler free. What did you guys think of No Way Home? Do you guys agree with me? Did you love it as much as me? Do you disagree with me and hate it? Let's talk about it, spoiler free, in the comments. Where will Spider-Man No Way Home fall in my big entire MCU ranking? I'm curious myself. Look forward to that, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All my social media links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.